Hi everybody, now we already finished the installation of the 2015 BMW X1. I'm gonna show you how to use the system first, okay? So, we can use the iDrive here to control the system. And this one also comes with the original G, uh, the uh, come with the GPS. The GPS is built in. You don't need to connect to any data to use the GPS. First of all, you can click on the navigation here. In order to use the GPS, you just basically just press this one, new road, address, and then you can just follow the instruction here. If it's Canada, then you can just you will type Canada city and then street name and then follow the instruction here. And then you can go back to the main menu here. Bluetooth. This one also supports Bluetooth music. Now, after the installation, you have two Bluetooth system. One is the original Bluetooth, which is still working, and and the one is the new Bluetooth. Either one will be working at uh, uh, as well. But at the same time, you can only connect to one Bluetooth device. Apps. We will pre-install some of the application for you. Like the YouTube, VLC, 2B, and also the Spotify. First of all, try the YouTube first. You can play any of the video here. But at the same time, make sure your car is in auxiliary mode, AUX mode. How to change the auxiliary mode? We just show you in the last video. I'm gonna show you again how to change the car to auxiliary mode. First of all, press audio here, and then press us. You can also change the volume of the us here. Once it's done, then you can go back to the original system. VLC. You can also use the stereo control to control the volume. Everything is exactly the same as before. Once a while, you need to close the application so you won't slow down. In order to close the application at the back one, you just need to click on the double square sign. You can also throw the manual or maybe you can also use the I drive here to control it. This one will connect to the car computer. When you press on the gas, it will show the RPM and the speed as well. Car info is only for the car which come with the original screen. Then you can switch back to the original screen. But since this vehicle does not come with the original screen, so you don't need to use this feature. You know how to connect to the Wi-Fi. Go to the setting here. And then go to more setting. And then go to network go to Wi-Fi you can just turn on the hotspot on the phone so once you turn on the hotspot on the phone then you can connect to the Wi-Fi here press the home menu go back to the home menu here and how to connect to the Bluetooth you can just click on the Bluetooth on the phone you can also change this, the name of this one you can change it to B M W Enjoy Perfect Password is 000 Now I'm gonna show you how to play the Bluetooth music Once you connect to the Bluetooth You can just click on the menu bar on the left side And then play the Bluetooth music here It's the time for us to test the backup camera. We can move the reverse. This one also comes with the turning assistant. 
So that means when you turn the wheel, the line will move and all the backup sensor will be working as the same as before. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Tupi. Tupi is just some kind of uh, Latrix, but this one will require the Wi-Fi. But you will be allowed to watch all the movie here. But looks like the Wi-Fi signal here is not really good at our company. And um, you can also download your own application here from the Google App Store. If you have any question about this system, you can always contact us at Auto Tech Pro. Thank you very much and have a nice day. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.